just come to see my bees. Came the other day without any equipment after we had some high winds and it looks like one of my hives has blown over. I'll get rigged up and we'll get in there and I'll show you. All right, nice secluded beehive. Here we go. Look at this. It's falling over. Oh, I'm going to have to set this back up right. The super's over there, that looks empty. So it looks to me like the base has collapsed. Yeah, look. No got a new base so I'll start making preparations and get this thing on a firm footing. I mean it's not rotten, it's just a bit loose, that needs rejigging and a few more screws put in it. to move this this base a little bit nearer so that they're not confused so much I <laughs> mean you know I think they're pretty confused already given the situation they're in I'm gonna retrieve the lid um, I've, I think I'm gonna to have to go back and get my smoker I don't have my smoker with me but I'm not going to attempt to move these without giving them a little bit of smoke they are reasonably feisty but uh, in the meantime, I've got another hive here, which I need to look at. So I'll look at that now. That feels absolutely rammed with honey. Weighs a ton. That has got, that is literally about 25 kilos in there. Wow. And there's not a bee in sight. Okay. So I think, wow, that's amazing. So they've, they've missed out on all that honey. Let's see if I can get one of these out. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. Let's just see what kind of state that's in. Okay, that's still liquid. That's amazing. That's coming home. Yeah, look, completely capped. Wow. April. That's almost unprecedented. Right, well, let me get this out of the way. So these bees were left over winter with a full super of honey. And uh, Yeah, okay, I'm going to keep 
keep all this wax it's not going to get lost I think I might just take the whole hive in its entirety back to base and, uh, and work on it there I don't think there's much point in pulling this apart here Honey here, look. So, don't think that they were short of stores. You hear sometimes that some bees die because of proximity to, even though they've got stores very close to them, they just don't access them. It's not like we've had a really harsh winter either, which is odd. So they could have been weakened going into winter and then take much then to uh, cause a collapse. Sometimes even if you have a poor winter that can be a problem because the bees will fly and there's very little for them to forage on so they in those circumstances if they don't have enough stores they can easily easily uh, perish because of that. I think in circumstances like this you can actually break the frame when they're so sealed in. That's not something that I'm keen to do. moving they do come away quite quickly yeah look at that 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 is all stores that is all stores that's odd that they died look so you can see that honey there just about to crystallize but I'll, I'll harvest that okay so that's that's one I'll clean this up later see what the rest of the frames look like. I don't think they're going to be much better. It's going to be much the same. Well, I won't take any more out. I'll do the rest of these at home and uh, see if I can extract this. Some of it might be partially set, so I may have to melt this out, but that's fine. It's not once you heat it to the point where the wax melts. I I wouldn't ordinarily sell that honey after that. So this is just for my own use and cooking, really. 
that brace clamp. Uh, so this one's let go like this, but uh, now everything's beginning to open up and we've got access here. We are uh, we're going to be uh, bringing these back, hopefully. We need to sort that other hive out first. But like I said, I didn't bring the smoker with me, foolishly. Uh, we're going to have to go back and get that. Catch up with you later. Take two this time with the smoker. We'll get this lit and uh, then we'll get into got some old chunks of cedar. This is kind of rotten cedar wood. I'll show you exactly where I got it from. It's right next to here where my bees are. There's this old rotting cedar tree. And I just fill my bag up occasionally with those bits and pieces. And uh, away we go. smokes really well. You can see. It's not just food we smoke. There you go, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yes. been eaten out by mice. We'll just get the lid on this, give it some weather protection. in and out of here now so they're gonna they're gonna be a little bit disturbed let's just angle this down and you can see I'll bring you around the front they're gonna start to locate it in its new position because it is slightly moved so we have moved it by about a foot from where it was previously down so this is where the hive was and we've moved it now to here so it can stand upright hopefully it'll have a bit of a better chance here so 
there's a few bees coming in and going out as we can see but more so more so hovering around the front here so we'll just back off now let them crack on I'm gonna put a brick on top of that hive just to secure that lid down and then I think I'm done here for now